Okay, so this is another collection of Sega Saturn Curiosos. I don't know why we're calling it that, but that's what we're calling it. Uh, I really enjoyed the first one because Sega Saturn is a system I know so very little about. It's very mysterious to me. And there were some really interesting games there last time. So this is number two. Basil68k made this. This is the arcade edition. And uh, vetted by Red Jackal. So this first game I had to use Yaba Sanshiro to play. It's the only one that I have to use this thing for. So that in and of itself is kind of strange. And apparently there's a secret character unlock that I need to check out. So I'm going to try to do that. So it's called Fighting Vipers. Um, and it is... Isn't this the name of a Black Mirror episode? <laughs> or is that Striking Vipers? I think it's Striking Vipers. All right. Let's watch the crusty intro. The year. The future. Jesse. Biggs. Wage. Leon. Joseph. A uh, Sonic the Hedgehog character? That, like, seriously. <laughs> so, so, it's like a weird mix of Joseph, rock and roll, Sonic. I don't know what's going on with these characters. Wow, that song, that intro. Vinny, Jotaro, not Joseph. All right, listen, I got the franchise right. You got to give me a point for that. It's because I don't know your, your Joseph character names. Give me a break, you know? And I don't even have... This happened... Previously, but I don't have the ability to play the game. I was able to play the game at one point. Let's see. Settings. Input. Direct. X. Input. Hmm? There we go. So, I'm, uh, in order to unlock a character... Why is it so damn low? In order to unlock a secret Vine Sauce character, so I've been told. It's not Jotaro, his name is Ban. Um, Raxel, oh, like Axel Rose, that's good. I have to fail on the first mission of arcade mode. So while that happens, I'm going to see if I can make this any louder at all. Nope. I like the, the giant cowboy in the background. Holy shit, if it's that far away and the cowboy is that big... No shit! No way, no fucking way. Pepsi Man's in this game. Round one. Let it's like the, the first begin. Smash level crossover. See, what I don't understand is the music in the intro was of a good volume, and I did nothing to change it. So yeah, this is um obviously very uh, Tekken. 
Saturn's like, all right, well, we need our own Tekken, so let's throw Pepsi Man in there and... Or Virtua Fighter, rather. Yeah, more Virtua Fighter than Tekken. The rounds are so goddamn short. Um, really, I, I don't know how to play this, but it seems kind of responsive. I lost to fucking Pepsi Man, really? Let the action begin. Vinny, it's the Virtua Fighter devs. So is this exclusive? Did they make Virtua Fighter for PS1? And then they did... Or is this just an arcade game that they ported over? It's an arcade game that they ported over. Okay, I thought maybe Sega... Like, commission them, like, with a bunch of millions of dollars, and was like, hey, we want you to make a game that's like Virtua Fighter. Sorry, Virtua. Virtua Fighter, not Virtua. I'm also... Again, surprised that Pepsi Man is in more than one video game. That kind of blows my mind. Jesus Christ. Virtua Fighter was never on PS1. Sega owns Virtua Fighter. I'm so confused. So wait, what was the big fighter on PlayStation then? That wasn't Tekken. Like, one of the early fighters on, on the PlayStation. Tekken. Tobol! Tobol number one! Fighting right? <laughs> or Battle Arena Toshinden. Ah. Chat, my brain hurts. Picky Ricky. Round one. Let the action begin. Go. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm totally gonna fight you with my skateboard. Vinny, are you thinking of Bloody Roar? No, I'm thinking of like a really like early polygon game that had like very basic looking fighters, and it was probably Tobol or T Battle Arena Toshinden. Uh, I didn't have any of those games, I just- I was aware of them. And I, I know Tekken was a huge deal when it came out, and it actually looked good, but... Yeah. I got my games confused. Hey! Weird game, and now I can switch to BizHawk. <laughs> it's the only game I had to use that for. But, hey, Pepsi Man, right? Good. You are missing the firmware needed for this. <sighs> All right, chat. You know how many copies of these fucking firmware files I have on my computer? I mean, in my Saturn. So many. I just need to go in and grab them. I'll be with you in about 10 seconds. Okay. It's about 10 seconds, right? Next up is Batman. The arcade game. Batman Forever. What's Batman Brazil? Brazil George Clooney. Nah, I'm Val Kilmer. Brazil. Michael Keaton. 
No, my name is Val Kilmer. Are you the cartoon Batman? Winners don't use drugs. <laughs> Developed by Iguana, the Turok developers. Wow. I'm just going to hope that the corruptions go away. Yeah, Batman Forever wasn't that great of a movie, but it was no Batman and Robin. It's weird how Joel Schumacher can actually be a good director and still direct Batman and Robin. These things do happen. Let me just rebind these controls. Batman and Robin is the good kind of Batman? Well, it's a good, bad movie, I think. Oh my god, these graphics. Someone in chat just said, Batman is a potato. Oh my god, oh fuck. I'm Batato. Okay, well, it's an arcade port again. It's a beat em up. These are some big graphics, chat. Sliding all over the place. Oh my god. Oh my god. This game doesn't give you a second. It's just full tilt constantly. Good versus evil. I don't know what I'm picking up. Bane? Is that you? No, that wasn't Bane. Ah! Evil. Why is Batman really small? Is this like bad perspective, or did Batman shrink to half its half its original size? Did anyone, like, at Iguana, consider that maybe there's just too much text on the screen? Are you ready for the death you- the kind of death you've earned, little man? Or what is- what does the lore say in Star Trek? Are you prepared for the kind of death you've earned, little man? Intimidating criminals that go... Yeah, usually... Usually... Uh, criminals meow... As they're doing crimes, if I'm not mistaken. Big biker dudes with, uh... Bane masks... And wrecking balls. Meow! Um, that's why they call them cat burglars. This dude is using a fucking yo-yo, and it's effective. You chat, you do know I'm just mashing buttons, right?
Good. At least you were aware. Th this game is too insane for me, is the problem. It's not that bad for a beat-em-up, it's just insane. And there's just too much shit on the screen. Also, how about that music? Yeah, hero points. Yeah, fuck you. Batcock. That was unnecessary. The BBC would like to apologize for the previous statement of Batcock, which was not, in fact, warranted, funny, or necessary. Especially not Christian. And the BBC apologizes profusely on behalf of the BBC and none else. What does the BBC stand for? Oh, I'll leave that up to you, chat. <laughs> Next up is Silhouette Mirage. I like how the, uh, notepad file I have here said, just mash buttons for the previous game. So this is a treasure game. I... that's wonderful, isn't it? Yep, I'm watching anime. I don't know what's happening, but I do like Treasure as a developer. I think they're great. Dude from the Minish Cap? Is that, like, handsome Ganondorf? Wait, is this Zelda? That's fine. I was told to skip this dialogue, um, otherwise I would read it out loud, being fluent in Japanese as I am. Why, why am I beating up the girl from Earthbound? I think she's saying Big Red Star, by the way, right? That's what she's saying. Reflector? I was close. I was like, well, it's big, it's red, it's, it's not a star, but I don't know.
That's how you skip the tutorial. I just read all that. So the world is in peril, and uh, her name is um, Maxine, and she goes through high school, uh, and then ends up in the mountains and has to save, um, I don't know. <laughs> So yeah, never press the Y button. Unless you want to just shoot ultimate power forever. Okay, jump is... It, it's weird. Shoot and jump are very weird. Someone just said, what the fuck is going on? I don't know. My instincts tell me that this is a good game, because Treasure's track record is excellent, but... And it, it plays fine. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Have you ever played Ikaruga? It's like that. Is that what the red and blue color scheme is all about? They're not... That's not really Paula from Earthbound, by the way. They're wearing masks. You can see it. It's like they're like shy guys. They have guns? Yes, they do. I see them gun. This is available in English on the PS1. Well, then that wouldn't make it part of the Sega Saturn showcase, would it? Kill red with blue. Does that mean I have to face them while being... Wait a minute. Because I, I don't know how to switch from blue to red without turning directions. Vinny, that's the game. Well, anyway, here's Waterworld. I kind of want to watch that mess of a movie. I haven't seen that movie in, like, 18 years. I just recently watched a video about, like, why the production of that movie was fucking cursed and how it like the budget ballooned up to like millions like to hundreds of millions of dollars and um how they built an island for the movie that was then destroyed and they needed to do more like scenes on it so they had to rebuild the island what a fucking cursed production that movie had it aged pretty well I, I didn't hate it. I thought it had some cool stuff in it. <laughs> I kind of want to rewatch it. It's not great. Vinny, I guess you should have read the tutorial. I know, I, I really, I know Japanese fluently. I should have read the tutorial. Uh. I think we found pumpkin friends. Oh no, we have to fight them too. We just have to fight them with red. It's pretty cool. I think this is a game that I, I understand the, uh, if people like it, if it's got a cult following. It's for a treasure game. 
it, I've never heard of it, so I guess it is a forgotten treasure game, but it's very... It seems very good. It seems very good. Why changes sides too? Oh, I was pressing a bunch of buttons and I wasn't getting it. Press Y to swap? Ah, oh, fuck. Xing. Oh well. This one's called Wonder 3. And I was told to play the first two games, but not the the last one. So it's a series of Capcom arcade games that they package together. Very Indiana Jones title screen there. Nice frog. Slippy, look out! Metal slug? Is that you? Metal snail. Yeah. And a little bit of ghosts and goblins for good measure. Oh, you can shoot up. Option. Put that audio down, because some of these sound effects are fucking horrendously loud. I'm missing all the good shit. Death noise you got there. I like how they explode. Like, Capcom really spent time making sure that the explosions felt good. So you'd want to, like, return to the arcade machine. Alright, so we got some Snake Man and Kirby. I'm just a wealth of video game knowledge. I'm encyclopedic right now, my god. I, I even know about a game called Mario Brothers. Where are we going to build? So there's a slide segment. Now, I don't really have time to go over all of these, I'm sorry to say. Uh, because we are... It's getting kind of late. We've got like another half hour of gameplay ahead. I want to move on to the next arcade game in the collection. I think I just fucked up and chose the wrong arcade game. Select. 
game two. You think that's bad? Well, it's a good thing I'm not doing two different notes at the same time. Which I can do. So this is a shmup. It's weird. The, the dude's like flying weird, but it's cool. And it's the same, you know, style of visuals, and that was definitely a Mario Brothers enemy. Speaking of my encyclopedic knowledge, that that's just from Mario Brothers. These these are like Buzzy Beetles. But yeah, it's- it's exactly what it looks like. It's good. It's one of these, but it's well done. Uh, and I'm dying. Damn it. There was a time in my life where I was addicted to shit like this. Again, UN Squadron comes to mind, but I played, like, Parodius. Like, when emulation first became a thing, like for Super Nintendo emulation, I caught up on so many games that I had missed. Oh, they reload visually, so you can see on your character when you have a full volley. That's kind of cool. Another pretty cool game. Precura Daistakusen. Okay, so this is an Atlas game and it says, skip the intro as it goes on for a while, and it might VOD mute. Yep. Yeah, definitely gonna skip that. Okay! Okay, that- you were talking through a walkie-talkie? <laughs> the eyes watering, like, or just, like, just moving like that, it, it's, like, it, it's just uncomfortable, and then the mouth was so, like, it had so many frames. I heard the word gambate, I know what that means. Oh, well, I just wasted my egg. I was gonna say, is this like Goemon? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck is going here. They're, it's, it's penguins? Pandas? Oh, I've got a mallet too. That's nice.
strange. I'm not really a big fan of isometric games, um... ...that are more like this, like action isometric games, because especially... Okay, especially if you're using a D-pad to move. If I had boost power, if I was using the, um, the analog stick, if I had access to that, I, I could rebind it, obviously, but it would make this a little bit more pleasant to play. Otherwise, it's just kind of awkward to have to, like, hold D-pad diagonal the whole time. But, otherwise, pretty cool! Just bizarre. Fucking weird. This reminds me of that other Sega game, oh, what is it called? Where the animals are in the machines, uh, Skalneck the Hengecog. I don't know what developer, uh, maybe Sega made it themselves, I'm not sure, but... Holy fuck. Chat? Rollerblading was real big in the 90s. Same for thongs. You remember the Cisco song? That might have been late 90s or early 2000s, I don't remember, but it was like... Something about, let me see that thong. Imagine my surprise when I found out it wasn't just a flip-flop or a sandal. And there was more to it than that. Egg is Lavos. That seems to be highly ineffective. Well, the first teapot's down, second teapot's down, and all the animals have been freed. The kitties, the dogs, the pandas, the penguins. We, but many of them sadly fell off the cliff and dropped about 4,000 feet. They will be missed. Thanks, game, for letting that happen. Fantastic Pinball. Yu Tenkai is up next. Thank God for the readme, holy fuck. Um, choose the first option with start. It is a time of strife. The year 5256. Squiggle 256. The land is peaceful until the Dark Lord of Pinball arises. The castle home to a brave knight, the pinball wizard, some would say. Big pinball technosoft. Even at my favorite table, he can't beat my best.
green. Also, oh, those are some covered Britsons. That was immediate failure. This music sounds familiar and I can't quite place it. Are those Poyos? It was just a part of the music that sounded familiar. Okay. Why are there lobsters with mustaches? Well, why are there skeletons playing guitars? <laughs> you know what? Joe has the skeleton playing guitar in the studio. I've, you've seen it if you've watched the behind the scenes. So I, I, I should be surprised least of anyone about skeletons playing guitars. Hell, what was that game I played with the skeleton man who played guitar? Who's Joe? Uh, uh Joe Taro. Mr. Bones! Cool pinball game. Next up is Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. So, wait, is it Jotaro or is it Jotaro? It's the second one. So, is it Naruto? Or is it Narta? Are you ready, true believers? Is it Nirverner? Or is it Nirbirber? I can't believe the, the, I can't believe this game has a hype man. You got boost power. What is this man? I feel like I've seen that man before. A Japanese comedian. Imagine that. Imagine getting into a video game alongside Wolverine. Secret character only for the Japanese version. Got some pretty amazing animations. I'm beginning to think that my character is kind of a coward. It certainly is fun to hear these noises every time the dude do does a move. Ah! 
You're up, Cyclops. Do you remember when they'd done Cyclops dirty in X3? That was cool, right? You had a good actor in James Marsden. You had a great character in Cyclops. And then you give him, like, five minutes of screen time. Screen time. Fuck you, X3. Well, he did deserve it, that, but that that's also, like, character assassination. Just in general, but... At least he got the Sonic movie. He was filming something else? Oh! <laughs> okay. Cyclops is a dick anyway, but that's what makes him fun. No, fuck Cyclops? Alright, well I don't know enough about X-Men. I haven't read any of the comics, I just know the movies, and I know the cartoon a little bit. I just always liked Cyclops' power. You underestimate my power! Wolverine's better? Well, I mean, you can get into a debate about that, I'm sure. I, I like Wolverine better overall, sure. I, I do like Huge Jackman. Someone said, I really like James Marsden, I just wish he got better roles. Yeah, and then, like, he kind of also got done dirty in, in, uh, Teddy Got Fingered. Uh, I mean, Westworld, the TV show. Astra Superstars is the next game. Advise visually sensitive watchers to darken the screen or turn off 60 FPS viewing. Okay, well there you go. Arguably the best showcase of Saturn's 2D capabilities. <laughs> Utterly insane... Uh, ...zoom-ins. Okay. Don't know, like, like... like Chat wants me to be the witch. Another fighter. So this is a flying fighting game? Interesting. Holy shit, Cox! Yep! Yeah, that, that's a lot of stuff going on. I love that the fighting genre has a... Uh, a little bit of accessibility. Whereas, if you're playing a racing game, you can't just mash buttons. This game is actually very... like, good. In, in the sense of it, it plays well, it, it looks nice, but it, it also hurts my eyes to look at for too long. I don't know if I'm just old. But it, it could it could be just the insane amount of screen flashing and zooming. Lettuce. <laughs> Why is this dude's name Lettuce? Oh, 
Vampire Savior is up next. One of the best fighting games ever, but still has surreal Sunday energy. Oh, okay. It even comes with a video of the final stage. Just in case I don't get to the final stage, which, you know, spoiler, I won't. So it's another Capcom fighting game. Baby Bonnie Hood. Bishaman. Hootzil. Pyron. Wow, these fucking animations are insane. Rikuo. Donovan. Lilith. L Raptor. Morrigan, there's a dude, always a Bob's Witch. Um, then there's Jay Talbane. <laughs> no, when we started Bernarder. Jeb Jetta. QB. Again, absolutely stunning animations, but yeah, I can see the Sunday energy just being... The characters are, are a little, uh, absurd, but I, I guess that's what gives it its personality and character. Now I just have to mash enough buttons to figure out what the special is. Vinny, how have you not heard of Darkstalkers yet? Do you, do you live in a cave? Ah, uh, yes. The one video game I've never heard of. I don't know what Darkstalkers is. This is not- this is Darkstalkers? It says Vampire Savior. The other name. Yeah, I'm, I'm not like the biggest fighting game person, chat. I played some Mortal Kombat, some Soul Calibur. Um, never owned a Street Fighter, just rented or played it at a friend's house. It wasn't my preferred genre of game, so I missed a lot of them. I never played Marvel vs. Capcom. I didn't like comic books. And I didn't really like Street Fighter that much because I didn't have it. So why was I gonna buy Marvel, baby? I, you know, I liked other things. There's, there's things that I could probably mention that are pretty popular that maybe you haven't heard of, chat. That's how this goes. You know, you find your particular niche, and you, you learn the things in it, and you stick with it. Have you heard of a band called Nerberber? Hang on a second, chat. Don't feel like you have to defend what you have seen and haven't seen. <laughs> have you been to this stream before? Good lord. So this is, uh, it says here, give the chat what they want, so... Fetus of God?
Oh, okay. Well, that fucking explains it. So, next <laughs> next game, we have a couple more... <coughs> scud? This sounds like a word I say for no... for no reason. Like a, like a made-up Vinny word. Yeah, sure, you know about Darkstalkers, but have you ever played Scud? This is based off of a 90s comic, cult comic series. Vinny, are you pro-Scud or anti-Scud? Haven't played it yet. But I believe this is the, uh, the Neverhood people. to select two players, but the controls don't make any sense. The, the arrow keys aren't actually selecting anything. Love it. Continue. All right, let's see. Uh, no, don't skip the intro, I won't. I've been sent by ComKillServe to Space Station Asgard. My job is to destroy a Scud. I've never had to kill a robot, and I don't know what Asgard is up to, but you can't beat the pay. My case is Scud Heartbreaker Model 1373. Scuds are disposable robot assassins. They're supposed to self-destruct when they kill their first target. This one didn't. Five people before me were hired to kill Scud. Dick's mother's neck was broken. Wow. His brother Tom was decapitated. I guess death is hereditary. The other three didn't fare much better. They all found Scud, and they all got killed. Pavlov. Excuse me? Nathan Twist. I don't, I, I don't know what. The head of Jane Mansfield. I'm combining the information. The head of Jane's Manfield, Mansfield. The actress? AM minus two. I can send a master scud from right here, and he's better suited for the job than a human. I'd rather not get my hands dirty with this one. Scud was designed to self destruct, not to be killed. It's got polysteroid armor, unlimited power supply, and the latest in neural net Polysteroid armor? He's also got a will to live, and apparently overrode his own programming. I figure he could have used this beauty to wound his first target so he could stay alive. AM minus two, tell me about Scott's first target. Nobody knows where she came from. She just popped up in the basement of a mannequin factory. She kills everything that moves. factory closed down. They held a little guy named Herschel responsible for getting rid of the monster. Yeah, we're in what when the fuck territory. Dead, a gun is as close as the nearest vending machine. But when you want something dead, you're not up to the job. You want more than guns. You want a scud to hold them for you. Very nice.
but was this necessary? I mean, it's cool. I kind of have nostalgia for shitty, like, early mid-90s video compression. Yeah, there was a lot of build-up for that particular voice. Level at ten, and gave him a visual of the monster. Scud would come to name her Jeff. It's <laughs> you, Jeff. Yep. I, I just, I'm just so confused. <sighs> Scud went into the factory, armed to the teeth, and programmed for damage. Damage. I don't think we can top Scud, the disposable assassin. Um, there's only a couple games after this. Let me just double check. Yeah, there's three games, including... Oh, man. There's one that I am very well aware of. That I don't want to stream because we'll, we'll easily go into the yam. And it'll probably get claimed. Ah, fuck it, I'll do it anyway. Well, it, it's, you know, it's... It's one of these games. I can see the Earthworm Jim kind of thing happening here. A little bit more of a beat em up than the adventure game um, that Earthworm Jim sometimes was. More like a. This is just like Butt Marl forever from earlier, you know? Zoom really is not doing the game any favors. And, uh, controls are, are a little bit floppy. What do I mean by that? Well, with a big sprite like this, everything just feels like it's in your face before you can shoot it. And, uh, sometimes the animations take precedent over the gameplay a little bit, but otherwise it's the shooting is at least very fast. That's just my initial reaction, because I have to tell you how I feel about this, um, just for people who are curious. You might like it. It's Scud. It's- it's Scud. But, yes, it's- it's Scud, but it's claustrophobic. And I'm already dead twice in the first level. The intro was amazing. I will show you one more, because this is a game I know of. I've never played it. I don't think I've played it. Maybe I have years ago, but... It's a game I remember seeing advertised a lot. And it was in arcades. You might know what this is, just from the music. Set the control to the mouse. Uh, let's see if I can do that. I don't know how to. It's called Revolution X. It's the Aerosmith game. 
Everything you like is wrong. All video games, television, magazines, especially music, have been declared illegal and are strictly forbidden. <laughs> the cor a corrupt neo-industrial governmental militaristic oppre oppressive alliance, the New Order Nation. I, I can't even read this. You were on your way to see Aerosmith. They're playing Club X. This is a 90s game, by the way. This is 20 years after Aerosmith was still not cool. So this wasn't even like a counterculture thing. Aero <laughs> you know what I mean? Nineteen ninety six. They gave it two years before this would happen. No, I listen, I actually do like Aerosmith. They're not bad. I, I like to make fun of them a little bit because they're you know, they're Aerosmith. And because the song from Armageddon But they got some great songs. I wouldn't exactly call them counterculture, though. Yeah, you shoot music at, at them. And, uh... Is this fucking broke? Oh my god. Why would they do this? What, what is the point of that sequence going on for so long? Do they have to pad the game out that much? Wait, you get points for shooting the cat? The year is 1996. You are on your way to see Aerosmith. <laughs> is it, yep, Steven Tyler screaming. Very nice. I mean, you gotta find some way to link it up to Aerosmith, I guess. While shooting thousands of the same yellow clad. New Order World Trooper. I don't know. Vinny, I paid to see Aerosmith in 2007. Hell, I'd see Aerosmith and, and pay to see them. Why not? At this point especially, I haven't seen a concert in, in since the beginning of the year. I'm, I'm desperate to see a concert. Is that pizza? Chat, I don't think this is a good game. Maybe with a light gun, it, it could be, like, more fun, because, you know, you shoot, but... Oh, I don't think I like that game very much. Um, sadly, there are two more games in the collection, Crypt Killer and Mighty Hits. Both light gun games. But, I think I feel like we've gotten uh, a lot of variety out of tonight's uh, Saturn segment, and uh, there you go. If there's ever a pack 3, we could check them out, I guess, but I don't know what else is left on the Saturn. Thank you for watching, and thank you, Balzac, 
for <laughs> what's the person's name for uh, getting me those games. Basil sixty eight K. Thank you so much for getting me those games. And now we can do the art. 